Lord hath made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and deliver me from all my fears. Good morning. Across the beautiful fruited plain of the island home of Jamaica, from the fisherman to the mountain man, it's manna in the morning. Coming at you this morning. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. 
beautiful way to start the morning at 11 minutes after the hour. We are going to go before the Lord in prayer this morning. Beautiful, beautiful hymn, hymns of the church. Consecrated song that stirs the soul and stimulates the spirit. Quicken the inner man, quicken the spirit man to get a hold of God. Blessed, blessed song. Oh, praise God forever. It has been said that Christianity is the only religion that has a hymn book. And somebody say, we are the only one who have something to sing about. My God, my God. In the name of Jesus. Join me, everybody. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer, wherever you are. You may be on the job. You may be driving down the road. Wherever in the world you are this morning, let us talk to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this privilege and opportunity, Lord, to come again before your holy presence. We thank you for your grace and loving kindness and goodness and mercy towards us today. We thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord. Thank you for giving us life and light and shining light in our hearts and minds, Lord. Thank you that we wake up in with our minds intact. We thank you for food and health and shelter, for all that you have done and all that you're doing. We are thankful and grateful to God for all of his blessings and benefits towards us. Bless each and every one tuning in this morning. And Lord, we pray that you keep your hand upon your people and cover us under your blood, Lord. For indeed, we are living in perilous time. We're living in a time that you have described in your word. Oh God, that it shall become perilous time, dangerous. That's what the word perilous means. It's dangerous, Lord. Oh God. Oh Bashanda Bakotolobokosaya. Dangerous time, wicked time, ungodly time, immoral time, the perverted time, Lord Jesus. But we look to the you, the the hill from whence cometh our help, Lord. You are our good shepherd that giveth the life of the sheep. And you can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, oh God. So we cry to you now. We ask you to help us, Lord God. Hear our humble cry, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Cast us not away from thy presence, Lord God, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us, but give us grace to walk in the pathway of righteousness, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we plead your precious blood. Oh God, we plead your blood against powers of darkness. We plead your blood against principalities and powers. We plead your blood against strongholds, Lord God. Everything that is contrary to the word of God, we plead your blood against it, Lord God. For it is not by might, Lord, nor is it by power, but it is by your spirit, O God. And the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty weapons to so the pulling down a struggle, casting down thoughts and imaginations, Lord. And every eye thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and to bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. We speak the word of God in the atmosphere. We speak God's word in the name of Jesus because God, you watches over your word to perform it. Perform your work in our hearts, in our lives, in our minds, in our souls, in our spirit this morning. Perform the word and work of God in us in the name of Jesus and cause us to arise, Lord God. And come into purpose and destiny. For you have called us unto purpose. You have called us unto destiny. Oh Lord, there is a plan that you have in store. And the devil cannot stop that which God has ordained. Oh, we look to you the hills from whence cometh our help, Lord. Let the virtue of God, the healing of heaven, rest upon us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. We hunger and thirst after you, Lord Jesus. As the deer that panted for the water, so doth our soul panted for the living God. Our soul panted after God more than they that watch for the morning, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you praise, Lord. Those who have issues in their lives, Lord, of all sorts, financial, physical, mental, health-wise, Lord, family issue, job issue, or home issue, oh God, living condition issue, whatever the issues that the people are wrestling with this morning, I ask that you will give your people grace and give your people strength and give your people blessing and healing in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we look to you, the author and the finisher of our faith. We can't even walk, Lord. Unless you hold our hand. For the mountains are too high and the valleys are too wide. 
Oh, dearest God, in the name of Jesus, cover us under your blood. We are crying out to you today. There is no other help. There is no other hope. Oh, God, everything else that man turned to is vain, is foolishness. It cannot work. It will never work. It is bondage. It is darkness. Jesus, you are the only one that set man free. You are the only one that came to give man life and more abundantly. You are the only one that gives man forgiveness and mercy and grace, Lord. Oh, my God, that the price of man's redemption has already been paid. That man doesn't have to do nothing but to believe the gospel. Oh, my God, believe the gospel. Believe Believe the Lord Jesus Christ. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, Lord. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Oh God, but it's the gift of God. It's a gift that was prepared even before we were born, Lord. For you died of the sins of the entire world, my God. The sin of this world has been paid for because of the sacrificial offering that Jesus paid upon Calvary's cross. Oh my God, the song rather said of Calvary, hill of sorrow, where sin demands were paid. And ray of hope for tomorrow, Lord, the cross, the path was laid. I see a crimson stream of blood. It flowed from Calvary. Its ray reached the throne of God. Are sweeping over me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Calvary, Calvary. Oh my God, Mount Calvary. Oh God, where the offering, the offering was paid. And Abraham told Isaac, son, God will provide himself a lamb. God shall provide himself a lamb, a lamb, a lamb of God. Behold the lamb, the lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. The sin offering was paid 2,000 years ago, Lord, when they drove the nails in your hand and the spear in your side and the whipping with the kettle nine tail. Oh, my God, Jesus, that was the price being paid upon Golgotha's hill, Mount, Cal M Mount Calvary, Lord. Oh, God, the redemption and plan of God was executed upon the cross. Devil thought that he was getting rid of you, Lord, not knowing that this was God's plan, oh, to redeem Adam's fallen race and to pay for Adam's fallen transgression. Oh, restoration could come. Oh, my God, the fulfillment of the sacrificial offerings in the, in the Old Testament. All oh, those rams and lambs and bullocks and heifers that was offered up before God as a sin offering by Lord, oh, it was all uh, it was all Lord God, an indicator of what you would do in your own be only begotten Son when you send him into this world to die. Oh, God, Isaiah said he was wounded for a transgression. Who hath believed our report? And to whom hath the arm of the Lord revealed? The arm of the Lord is revealed to them who believe the report. He shall grow up before us a tender plant, a root out of a tr the dry ground. And when you shall see him, there is no beauty, there is no flamboyance that you should desire him. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, Isaiah said, Never a man so marred like this man. Oh, God, my Father. Father. Yea, they plucked your beard, the beating and the bleeding, Lord. Oh, God, the beating and the bleeding, the bleeding and the beating. Oh, was for the sin offering, the sin offering. There's a sin problem, Lord. There's a sin issue. Every man born into this world have a sin issue. He, even the baby, the suckling on the breast that has never consciously done anything wrong. He could not do anything wrong because of the, the youngness, the youthfulness of a baby. Oh God, my father, yet the baby is guilty because he was born, he or she was born with a sin nature, with a rebellious nature to rebel against his maker. Oh, therefore the baby born in sin and shaping iniquity need a sacrificial offering, need to be redeemed, need to be atoned for. And Jesus, you did all of this before we were even born. Oh God, you died for the sins of those who lived in the time of the Old Testament. And they were looking forward, to, oh God, they were looking forward for the coming of Christ. And dear God, therefore they had offered up offerings on bullocks upon altars and ram and sheep and lambs upon altars, Lord. Believing that the Son of God would have come 
or to become that, that, that permanent sacrifice or the blood of Jesus Christ that give us access to God. The blood of Jesus Christ that open up the way and give us access to God. Oh yes, we have access to that blood. We have redemption to that blood. We have forgiveness to that blood. We have protection to thy blood. Oh God, my Father, oh bring back the blood, the blood into the church, Lord. Oh God, put back the blood in the mouth of the believer. Give us that desire. Give us that, oh, that quickening of spirit to rebuke the devil and plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood. Oh God, we don't have to know what it is or what is not or whatever. We don't have to know. We just need to plead the blood. And anything that is not in alignment with the blood will be burnt, will be crushed and paralyze so we plead the blood oh god hey we plead the blood of jesus this morning against every devil on assignment powers and principality forces of darkness elements of the devil i plead the blood of jesus this morning lord i plead the blood the blood of jesus i plead it i plead the blood the blood of jesus christ defeat and destroy and defeat the kingdom of darkness and give the people of god victory over all problems all issues lord in the name of jesus I plead the blood this morning. I plead the blood this morning. I claim the victory this morning, O oh God, for you are worthy, you're holy, you're marvelous, you're good and gracious, Lord. Oh, you paid the price once and for all when you went to the cross. And oh Lord, my God, while they were mocking and 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 and, and, and mocking you on the cross, Lord, you cried out with a loud voice and said, It is finished, it is finished, O oh God's requirement. For man is finished. God's purpose for me coming to earth is finished. The price was paid. The blood was shed. Oh my God. We give you praise now, Lord. It is finished. Man's redemption. Joy nigh. Yea, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's finished. Oh God, it is finished. It is finished. My redemption. Jesus. 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 I am real. 
When I hear you whisper, child, lift up your head. I remember, oh God, you're not done with me yet. And I am redeemed. You set me Oh! 
washed in the blood. Purify and cleanse by his precious blood. The blood of bull and goats and the ashes of the ephah could not cleanse the dirty conscience of my, of my life. But his blood purge, purify, cleanse and sanctify my heart, my conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. Oh, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood. The Bible said we have access through his blood. The word says we have forgiveness through his blood. The word says we have redemption through his blood. The word says we have forgiveness through his blood. We have cleansing through his blood. We have protection through his blood. The blood. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Can somebody scream and shout the blood for me this morning? Oh my God. I want to shout. Can somebody shout for me? <laughs> oh, glory. The blood this morning, the blood. Glory, glory, glory. Things I used to do, I do no more. Place I used to go, I go no more. For years I traveled a road all along my mind and lost its joy. Song, but his grace placed me right where I belong. Oh, his mercy, he rewrote my life. Sing it out. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. My God, my God, my God. Jesus. But you see his mercy. Forgiven, and my new name was 
in the morning at 18 minutes before the hour pastor howard palmer here with you join me weekday mornings monday to friday from 5 a.m to 8 a.m for mana in the morning and this morning we are just here cruising easy easy cruising easy cool and easy breezy in this old ship of zion mana in 
the morning. I had nothing. Will you come in the morning for prayer, for worship, and for the God word? Said. To energize you, to prepare you for the day. God told the children of Israel, He said, Do not take any extra for tomorrow. But come every morning. A fresh manner for a fresh day. A new manner for a new day. Good morning to you. I was making. Tell your ma, your pa, your grandmama, your grandpapa. Download and install the app to their phones. Something serious is going on over here in the morning. It's glory, hallelujah, thank you Jesus. Then I pray. Hand clapping, foot stamping, Holy Ghost devil chasing meeting over here in the morning. Come on now. now. Living in the perilous times where devils are everywhere. Powers and principality, corruption, immorality, perversion, sinful nastiness is everywhere. God has provided this media ministry. HFGN Heart for God Network. And the program Manna in the Morning. He has provided it to help us cruise through this turbulent, tempestuous, stormy times in which we are living in right now. Where man's heart has become vile, wicked, conti- evil continually. Man has become reprobate. No love for God, no fear for God. But God has raised us up. To meet a need, a daily need. It's a daily need. We need him every day. We need him daily. Be happy. I have From the top, one more time. His name is uh, Mr. Jesse Dixon. Good morning to you. I had nothing but heartaches and trouble. I was seeking for fortune and fame. I had nothing but doubts and confusion. But now I I was making big plans for my future, but I was living my lifetime in vain. Then I prayed for life's only me. Come on. 
Cool C. Mullen. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely wonderful, beautiful song. I wonder how much of you remember where you were the first time you heard this song. A couple of years ago, this song came out. Took the church world, took the entire world by storm. Today, this song is considered to be a classic, a classical gospel music. This song will be around until the Lord returns. It will forever be one of those songs you can never forget. Good morning to you. It's manna in the morning. Three minutes after the hour, tell ya, I love it, I love it. Testify, life within me cries, my redeemer. Say what you want to say, devil. Talk till your tongue drop out of your head. I know that I know that I know my Redeemer liveth. Job said, I search on the right side, I can't find it. I search on the left, I can't find it. But then Job said, he knows the way that I take when he hath tried me. I shall come forth as pure gold. I know that I know. You see, this is this is what the world is trying to take away from us. The world is trying to take away from us our knowledge of the Lord, our connection to the Lord. And the thing that they, that bothers them the, the most is the fact that God has invested himself, his power in us. They fear the power of the Holy Ghost. These worldly people, they know the church has something. They know we have something. That they can feel themselves when we begin to do what we do as people of God fast and pray and sing and worship and preach and teach and witness and live for God when we do what we do something supernatural manifests through us out of us that they themselves bear witness that those group of people over there they got something in that church over there when they begin to pray and to speak in that language we feel current run all over our bodies. They know we got something. The world know the church got something. The problem is they want us, but they don't want the something we carry. You know wherever the, wherever the Holy Ghost goes, he takes over. You know that, right? Anywhere the Holy Ghost goes, he takes over. And begin to convict men of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. So the world says, Hollywood says, you can come, but don't bring that thing you have with you. That secret invisible weapon, don't bring him with you. But I can't even walk unless he hold my hand. So I'm sorry, Hollywood. If, I, if you invite me, if I come, I'm bringing the power with me. I'm bringing the, the glory with me. I'm bringing the Shekinah with me. God have mercy. God help you. Unfortunately, there are those among us who gladly adapt and conform to Hollywood. But there are some of us, we are stubborn, we are whole fashioned. We now leave him, our Redeemer, our Savior, our Waymaker, our Bridge of our Troubled Water. 
We're going to take him with us. Take the name of Jesus with your child of sorrow and of woe. It will joy and comfort keep you. Take it everywhere you go. Precious name. Blessed name. Hope of earth and joy of heaven. His name is Jesus. All right, everybody. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Welcome on board. If you're first, time, if it is your first time joining us, welcome on board to each and every one of you at eight minutes after the hour. We are glad to be with you this morning. The program is Manna in the Morning. To all my listeners in Jamaica that listens to the broadcast in the mornings, from wherever in the world you are, wherever in Jamaica you are, for those of you that have your relatives to install the app to their phone, they're listening to me in England, in Canada, over the Caribbean, all across America. We are so grateful that you're there, and we are thanking God for you. This program and this media ministry, HFGN, Heart for God Network, Heart for God Network, and we, we are here in the morning for just one main purpose. You know, I was driving by this gas station a couple of days ago where God spoke to me about this ministry that we're doing this morning. This program that we're doing this morning, I was driving by the gas station where the Lord had you know, brought it into my spirit and and giving me instruction to get it going and stuff of such a stuff of that sort and i just remembered the day when he spoke to me i, I mean i was weeping i had to come home that day he, he, in the midst of a busy work day the spirit of the lord came and brought this ministry and this vision into my life and to get this thing done and i must thank god for my armor bearers who stand by me to help me to get it off the ground and now we have so many people listening to us in the mornings and not to only that they are um, listening to the program to the station around the clock. Um, it is always available on the app, on, either by you, you watching it or by you listening to the audio. Okay, There's a radio and a television um, a ministry app. And the purpose of it is to assist the people of God in these last days in your walk with the Lord. That is the main purpose of this ministry, to, uh, to help you. you. You know how much time I've turned this thing on. I'm on the road here in New York, and I turned this thing on. Like like last yesterday evening, I was driving somewhere in New York, and, and I, the thing was on, playing through the car speakers, and some beautiful song just come on one after the other. And, and I mean, I had to start to smile and laugh and worship because the thing was just so beautiful. Just the right thing at the right time. And the, the honest truth is, sometimes you turn on Christian radio, and what your soul need, your ears is not hearing it. I, I, have you ever had to? Have you ever had that to happen to you? You you, you feel a, like a dryness, or you feel a desire for a touch of God in your spirit, something to stir your spirit towards God, and you turn to Christian radio, and what they're playing, it doesn't match how you feel, or match what you want. What I want right at that moment is something something with a lot of juice in it, something with a lot of oil in it. My God, something that is soaked in the presence of God. So like the song we just played just now. You can you can know you cannot be feeling down and turn your radio on and listen to a song like this and don't feel revived. These songs are divinely inspired by the Spirit of God, given to these songwriters and singers. So when we listen to it, it does something to our souls. And so th this is the purpose of this radio ministry, this television radio ministry. The purpose of this network is that when you tune to it, you are going to be touched. When you tune to it in the morning, whether, if it, whether I'm live or I'm not live, if it's a tape we're playing, a rebroadcast, you're still going to feel it. You're still going to feel the touch of God. Because, you see, the thing about the anointing is this, right? The anointing is tangible and transferable. So when a recording takes place of an anointed program or an anointed church service, once the anointing shows up in that program or in that church service, it is recorded on the tape. And, and 10 years after you play that tape, the same anointing that flowed that day or that night will manifest itself in that moment you play that tape. I'm telling you this. That's why we play a lot of these old-time preachers like uh, like Jack Cole and A.A. A. Allen and R.W. Schambach and, 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 and Owa Roberts. We play these people 
There's a man named Jack Cole. He lived for, he, he, his ministry was in the 60s. And it, he, he, it has been said that he's one of, the, one of the greatest healing evangelists that this country has ever seen. He had some of the biggest gospel tents in the 50s here in America. His name is Jack Cole. And I was playing some of his, some of his tape a couple of days ago. And the thing is so powerful and so richly anointed. We, we try to play these anointed services that happened many years ago in some cases. And we play them because we believe that those people had something to give. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I gave you. Some of those, these old time leaders of the faith, our spiritual grandparents who have gone on to be with the Lord. They have done some R.W. Shambach. My God, I've been in this service a few times, different places. I've, he has laid hands on me before, R.W. Shambach, more than one time. I've spoken to him. And he has gone on to be with the Lord. And every now and then, myself, Brother Norman, we play his tapes, his recordings, his messages. And it, it, the man doesn't sound like he's dead. <laughs> Shambak is too much alive to be dead. It's like he's mocking death. I can't see Shambak laughing at death and say, you, you can't do me nothing. You just take it. It's just a transition I'm going through now. I believe Shambak is the same old Shambak. <laughs> you see Shambak right now in heaven. He's up there saying, glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Like he, like he used to do down here. That man's spirit is, a, is alive and, and kicking. Amen. And so we play these tapes on this on this network. We play them, Jimmy Swagger. We play his tapes from in the 80s and in the yeah, in the 70s and 80s. Mm-hmm. In in the 90s, we play most of his tapes that, that we play. Because a couple of days, a day or two ago, I played about about maybe six hours of, of, of his preaching from in the 80s when he had those big crusades across the world. And all every television on a Sunday morning was glued. Everybody was glued to this man. I played about six hours of those of those tapes because we believe that the anointing is tangible and transferable. And we, every now and then we have to remember where he has brought us from. The church today is not where it used to be. The church today has backslidden. We have drifted and shifted, and we have gone off into a, a, a state of stagnation. We have a lot of motivational speakers in the pulpit. They are, not a, they are not Holy Ghost preachers anymore. They are motivational speakers. And because they have the gift of oratory speaking, oratory skills, they can oratory speaks in some kind of a, you know, exciting way. When they go, when they are there, they're saying some things and it sounds exciting, but it's not anointed. It's not of God. It doesn't bring conviction. It's motivational speaking. How to be a better you. How to get the how to be the best you. How to have success. How to you know what I'm saying? It's not about consecration. It's not about drawing closer to God. It's not about repentance. It's not, it's not about we need old fashioned preaching. Old fashioned preaching that goes after our heart. To connect our heart with God, and and I and I I'm not saying this because my God is using me to bring this thing to be, and others around me. But I'm saying this because it's the truth. We need this ministry, this radio ministry that we have here. We need it. It is needed. There's a need for it in the atmosphere. We need it. We need to have a place, guaranteed place, that when we take up our electronic device and turn on this, 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 this media ministry, something will be coming through the speakers on your phone, all right? Something will be coming through that is going to deal with you deeply within. There's a song that says that, For I will open up my heart, search me in the deepest part, cleanse, touch me with cleansing fire, by you I'm purified. For I will open up my heart, search me in the deepest part. We need for God to 
touch us in the deepest part, the deeper inter, inner recesses of our being. The scriptures say he desired truth in the inward part. And in the hidden part, he shall make us to know wisdom. We are in a situation in these last days, we cannot trust preachers. We cannot trust preachers. We can't trust them. We can't trust them because the people are selling out. Adapting, uh, conforming to this world. You see, the church is uh, is, is is drooling, is, is drooling to the world. Oh, please accept us. Please give us a seat beside you. Please accept us. We're not going to be disturbing you. We're not going to preach anything that's going to make you upset. We're not going to sing nothing to make you upset. Give us a seat. The church is literally begging the world to let them into their not to their whatever the world does. But God didn't say we must try and go fit, be fitting with them. He said, come out from among them. The very word church means called out once. That's what the word church means. In it. Called out once. It's a Greek word, ecclesia, that means called out once. Well, every time you say church, you're saying called out once. You see some, see some church people there. Eh? You're saying called out ones. He called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We are not supposed to be like them. Talk like them, now walk like them. We must be like Jesus. Tell me, tell me the story of Jesus. Write on my heart every word. Tell me the story. Most precious, sweeter than ever I've heard. Tell of his da 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 I know Sister Sterling is singing the da 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 part because I don't know the words for the da. <laughs> but I'm just saying to you, he said, He that saith he abideth in him ought himself to walk even as he walked. First John 2 verse 6. I want to say good morning to Minister Peter Hayes. Minister Peter Hayes up there somewhere in up, uh, upstate New York. He's my Sunday school teacher. <laughs> bless you, my brother. God bless you. Glad to know you're there, man. God bless you. Praise God. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself to walk even as he walked. And that's, what, that's the verse I always think about. You know, when I see the devil and the world and some backsliding Christian try to who me into the, what they're doing. Who me into this? Who me into that? I, I said, no, I'm gonna not listening to you. Don't tell me which preacher doing it or which preacher going there. I'm not, do, I'm not going there and I'm not doing it. That verse has always been my guide. When I think about the, 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 the essence of my walk with God. And 1 John 2, 6, go memorize that verse. It says, He that saith, he abideth in him, ought himself to walk even as he walked. You can't get around that scripture. In that scripture, don't need no hermeneutics, homiletics, and all that stuff. It doesn't need none of that. It's simple one, two, three. C-A-T, C-A-T, M-A-T, Matt, R-A-T, right? You don't need no interpretation, no highfalutin theologian to tell you what it means. It means what it says, exactly what it says it means. First John 2, verse 6. And that is going to be our verse for this morning. He that saith, he abideth in him, ought himself to walk even as he walked. You must walk not as your bishop walked. Not as your pastor walk, not as new age Christianity walk, not as these so-called celebrity Christian walk. You must walk as he, Jesus, walk. Walk as he walk. Uh-huh. He that saith he abideth in him ought to walk as he walk. You must walk as he walked. Ought himself to walk as he walked. That's so how you must walk. You must, your walk must patronize and emulate the walk of Christ. The very name Christian means to be like Christ. You know that name Christian was not used when Jesus was alive, when Jesus was among the disciples. The name Christian was not used. That name was used after Jesus resurrected and went back to heaven. And the apostles began to spread the gospel all over the place. And they went to a place called Antioch. 
and preaching the gospel in Antioch, and they were so much like Jesus in their behavior. The, the characteristic and the behavior among the citizens of Antioch was so Christ-like. It was so like Jesus that it was the people in Antioch who coined the name Christian. They look at the, 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 the disciples and said, these are, are like Christ. These people are acting like Christ. So the name Christian means to be like Christ. Oh, hallelujah. To be like Christ. There is, listen to this, there is no Christianity outside of Christ. I know people have their own version of it. The man has made, listen, you have hundreds of versions of Christianity that is man-made versions. All of those versions are man-made versions. There is only one true Christianity. And what is it? It's to be like Christ. Paul, the great apostle, in the latter years in, of, his, of his Christianity, he said that I may know him in the book of Philippians. I, yeah, the book of Philippians. He said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. That's what Paul says. That I may know him. This is Paul who raised the dead. This is Paul who wrote 13 books of the New Testament. And at the end, somewhere there in the man, latter years of the man's life, the man said that I may know him. Christianity is to become like Jesus. He said not to be conformed to this world. I mean, I mean it is written in the book. He said not to be conformed to this world. Not trying to become more like the world. But he said to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. That we may know what is the height, the depth, and, and, and the, the height and the depth of the knowledge of Christ. We must be conformed, transformed. Not to be conformed to this world, but to be transformed. To the, to the image of Christ. That's what the essence of it all is. I'm not listening to no man. I, 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 listen to this. I am not listening to man. Man is bent. Man is lean. Every human being born lean. Born lean and bent and twist. There's not one man on earth that born 100% straight. Every man has a bend in him. A lean in him. You know so there's no tree that is straight. Every tree has a bend, no matter how the, the tree looks straight. There is a lean, there is a bend, there is something there. You may can't see it, but it's there. To every man born with sin in him, and, and a waywardness, and a rebellion against God. That spirit that Adam had hiding from God, we all born with that spirit. Not listening to no man trying to invent their own version of Christianity. To try and tell us what is pleasing to God and what's not. When we have the Bible. You have your Bible to read it and see what it says. I'm not trying to be popular. I don't want to be popular. I don't want to be popular. I don't want to be. I don't want to be famous and popular. I want to be right. That's what I want. I want to be right in the sight of God. Oh Bashata. I want to be. Listen man. I don't have to be struggling like this. You know, God has given me certain gifts, and I know some. I know the gift that God has given me, and I know what is my capability in the in the gospel and in the ministry. I know I could be rich, rich in six months. I know it. I know I have the the the, the whatever <laughs> to to get people all riled up. But I I I don't want to go to hell. That's my fear. I don't want to go to hell. My biggest concern as a human being is I do not want to go to hell. The day when that day comes, when my spirit leaves my body, I don't want to be see demons come telling me, come this way. No, when my spirit leaves my body, I want to hear the angels sing. I want to see the glory. I want to see the Shekinah. And I'm walking into the glorious light of the Shekinah. That's what I want. And people think it's a joke. You can go ahead and do your thing down here, Mr. Preacher Man, and get rich. Go ahead and deceive the people and lie and deceive the people and come up with all kind of gimmicks to make money in the gospel and get rich and drive a Lamborghini and live on a mansion house and all that. Yes, you're doing well here, but I am telling you, 
There will be a reckoning, and that's what I fear. I struggle in, in the ministry, in the gospel. I don't get the assistance and the help that I think I that I would love to get. And I just can't do I can't do it. I cannot do it. I remember when we when we had the church over there in Queens and there were so many Sundays where I didn't collect no offering. <laughs> no offering, no time, didn't remember. Is the brethren have to come and say, Pastor, the, the, the offering is not collected. I didn't remember the colleague. I am so caught up in the thing, in the preaching and in the glory and the worship and the presence of God that I didn't remember nothing but no offering. Many, many Sundays it happened. Not only Sundays, but other services. And the truth is that money is needed for the work to be done. Because there are bills to be paid. Read the program and it has to be paid. But I'm just trying to say to you that we could do whatever we want to do and get rich. Sell bottle of oil, sell... I saw this man, this white man on TV one time. The man had a, a vial bottle and he had oil in it. And he put some red dye in the oil, shake it up. And then he said, this is the blood of Jesus. Another one said he was in Israel and he brought back a whole lot of pebble stone. Look at small, teeny pebble stones. And he's on TV telling the people, send the offering, because this is the stone, this is the stone that David used to kill Goliath. And when you get the stone and have it in your possession, it's going to give you supernatural power and miracle. That's witchcraft, that's devilment, that's lie. That's lie. And people run and, run and get these things. People buy it, people take out the 1,500, 200, 100, and send it and get the stone and get the oil. The man put dye, red dye in the oil and <laughs> says the blood of Jesus. And people, people get it. You think people, 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 listen, people want a golden calf. Look how close they were to God and Moses. Moses and God is up in the mountain talking. The mountain is on fire. The, the mountain is smoking. The, 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 they could hear the rumble up there on top of the mountain, but they couldn't wait. They say within 40 days, Moses don't show up. They make a golden calf. Think about that. They just, they saw 10 plagues in Egypt. They saw Red Sea open up. They saw manna from the heaven. They saw all kind of miracles, water from the rock. All these things, they are witnessing the power of God in that moment. And in that very atmosphere, they made a golden calf. I am telling you. That people will lead you astray. They went to Aaron who should have sense and plead the blood and rebuke them. And tell Aaron, say, we, we, we want you to make us a golden calf. And he didn't have the spiritual fortitude to rebuke these people. And that's what the problem is today. Nobody wants to be rebuked. Oh, don't judge me. No, don't judge me. Don't, 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 don't judge me. Yeah. Doing all kind of garbage and then telling the, telling the, the, the child of God, don't judge me. They're telling the preacher, don't judge me. You must be rebuked and corrected and get yourself in alignment with God and his word. So 1 John 2, 6 is our verse for this morning. He that saith, he abideth in him. He, you and I, who have proclaimed, who have testified that we abide in him, we must walk even as he walked. The, the walk is not in that New Testament church of God walk or the church of God in Christ walk or the Baptist walk or the Lutheran Methodist walk or the whatever walk. This walk is Jesus walk. It is his gospel. It is his church. It is his kingdom of God. We don't walk according to a bishop and according to a pastors and according to our leaders. We walk according to Christ. Walk according to Christ. Recently I was talking to some, I, had, I, had, I was on the job and I had this gentleman there with me and, and we were talking and we're talking, and I said to him, I said, Preacher, I said, sir, sir, I didn't even know the man was a Christian. I did not know the man was a Christian. And I said to the man, I said, I don't believe, I said, do you notice that whenever time these politician comes into the black neighborhood, they never come into a stadium in our neighborhood or auditorium or, you know, they always come on a Sunday morning in our church service. 
I so you notice that as a sir, I've been noticing this from I came to this country. Why is it that these white politicians, when they come to the black neighborhood during election time, they never call a rally in a coliseum, a stadium, or you know, open field or something like that to have us to come to their political meeting? They always want to come on a Sunday morning to come preach their political ideology. And their political ideology is abortion and gay marriage and all this stuff. And they're coming in the church on a Sunday morning to ask for your vote so that they can go and vote for these things. And I said, oh, preachers, let them into the church on a Sunday morning to come take the pulpit and take the mic and, and to pro propagate their political doctrines. I said, this is not right before God. It's not right. And when the man was parting ways with me, the man said to me, the church that I go, my pastor don't allow them to come. They ask to come and he tells you, he tell them no. I said, praise be to God. I knew that there was something about that man, Brooklyn Tabernacle. I, I knew that there was something about that man. I've always listened to that ministry. And I knew there was something different about that man. I was so happy when he told me that. We must walk as Jesus walked. You think that Jesus would ever turn over his meeting to a politician to come talk about policy that he himself don't believe in? He would have never done that. But that's what I'm trying to tell you about this verse. You must walk as Jesus walked. If he never would do it, you shouldn't do it either. If you know Jesus would never do this or say this, then don't do it and don't say it. Because oh, the walk we're walking is not our walk, it's his walk. We must walk as he walked. That's what the word of God said. 1 John 2, 6 is our verse of this morning. Church of God, child of God, we are living in the last day hour. We are living in a serious time. And only the fittest of the fittest shall survive. You got to make your calling and your election sure. You only must fear God and keep his commandment. And don't listen. Don't follow. Don't obey anything that is rebelling against God and his word. He that saith he abideth in him... Or to walk even as he walk there's a walk that Jesus walk that I want in my life I want his walk in my life I want his way in my life I want his blessing in my life I want his guidance and his peace in my life <music> I struggle alone And they say I have nothing But they are so wrong In my heart I'm rejoicing How I wish they could see Thank you Lord For your blessings on me There's a room
There's a room up above. I've a good place to sleep. I've a good place to sleep. There's food on my table. There's food on my table. Shoes on my feet. Shoes on my feet. You gave me your love, Lord. You gave me your love, Lord. My God. And of my family. From the top, one more time. Mercy, mercy, mercy me. Can you relate? Do you bear witness? Can you bear witness with this song? The world looks upon Good morning. It's manna in the morning. Alone. And they say I have nothing. But they are so wrong. In my heart, I'm rejoicing. How I wish they could see. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing.
sing it with us. I wonder if you feel the way how I feel right now. You gave me your love, Lord. Are you feeling what I'm feeling right now? Love, my God, my God. One last time. I'm going to take it from the top one last time. Here we go. Mercy, mercy. Good morning. Good morning. Mana in the morning. 16 minutes before the hour. Turn me up. While the world looks upon me as I struggle alone. And they say I have nothing. But they are so wrong in my heart. How I wish they could see Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me There's a roof up above me I have a good place to sleep And there's food on my table And shoes on my feet You gave Please. 
said there's a roof up above me I've a good place to sleep there's food on my table shoes on my feet you gave me a love Lord and the fine
just one more time. Precious Lord.
today. Show me the way. One day at a time. Lord, help me today. Show me the way. One day. At growing up, we used to have the good old revival meetings at my father's church. Oh, well, sometimes they would go on for two to three weeks at a time. And every night, 
After the evangelist got through preaching, we would have an altar call. Oh, that was the most sacred part of the service. And as we'd all make our way down to the altar, someone would sing a song. We'd like to sing this the old time way. Message music. The music is in the message, and the message is in the music. It's mana in the morning at 10 minutes after the hour. Good morning to you. Let me, let me add the throne of mercy mm-hmm. where I can find, find a sweet, a sweet relief.
remember as I was growing up, we used to have the good old revival meetings at my father's church. Well, sometimes they would go on for two to three weeks at a time. And every night, after the evangelist got through preaching, we would have an altar call. Oh, that was the most sacred part of the service. And as we'd all make our way down to the altar, someone would sing a song. We'd like to sing this the old time way.
Style. Can I get some help in the house? All right. Anybody remember these kind of songs? See, I got a few on this side that already picked it up. Play it again. kind of gospel is this your kind of gospel telling you it's available 24 7 365 and weekday mornings 5 to 8 in jamaica 6 to 9 here in new york 24 hours a day seven days a week gospel the way it should be
Everything is as beautiful and precious and sweet as when the church gets it, get, gets it right. When we get it right, it's the sweetest thing you ever heard. Sweetest thing you ever heard when we get it right. God has done in your life. I'm not talking about your grandmama's testimony. I'm talking about what God has done for you. Just take 10 more seconds because for some of y'all, he's been better than that. It was not because of any goodness of your own, but he sent two watchmen called grace and mercy. And if it hadn't been for the grace of God, you should have been. If it hadn't been for the mercy of God, you would have been. But, 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 Sit down for y'all start something in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
for the story of an evening. Because on the third day, he got up.
praise. All I can say is, Lord, you're my everything. Praise waiteth for thee. What a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning. Hallelujah. My Lord, my Lord. Praise the Lord. I tell you, I tell you. Yeah. My everything. You are my everything. My all in all. The psalmist says, You have been my God from my youth. He also says, When I'm old and gray headed, forsake me not. Oh God, you have been my help in ages past, my hope for years to come, my shelter from the stormy blast, and you are my eternal home. Jesus, you are my King and my Lord, and I love you, and I praise you, Rose of Sharon. Lily of the valley, bright and morning star, heaven's diadem, oh holy one of Israel, the ancient of days, there's none like unto you, and God has highly exalted you, and given you a name, that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to, to the glory of God the Father. Oh, ancient of days, ancient of days, Ezekiel's wheel in the middle of the wheel, Elijah's mantle, Moses' rod. Samson's jawbones, Solomon's wisdom, David's Psalms, oh Jesus, who is like unto you, Lord? All the gods of this world are idols, but you are the true and the living God. The word declare all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that which was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness. And the darkness comprehended it now. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. We love you, Lord. Yes, Lord, you're my everything. Praise waiting for me. We praise you. We honor you, Lord. We adore you. Jesus. When blind Bartimaeus heard that the noise that we he was he was hearing was because Jesus is in town. Oh my God. He was hoping 
for this day to come. The blind man heard of the miracle worker, how he worked in miracles in Samaria, in Judea, in the coast. He heard it. But he was all the way down there in Jericho, all the way down in the Jordan, Jordan Valley. And Jesus is on the other side of town, in the north or in the midsection of the country. The blind man could not get there on his own. And maybe he couldn't find nobody to bring it. So all he was left with was a desire and a hope. A desire and a hope. If I could just get near this Jesus. If I could just get into his presence. If I could just find somebody to take me to where he is. I know I'll be alright. I know I would be healed. Because he got to be the Messiah. He got to be the son of David. Walking on water. Raising dead. Cleansing leper. The blind man said he got got to be the son of David oh Lord God oh Lord God this is the thing about God that melts my heart he can sense your hunger he can sense your hunger and not only can he sense your hunger he will not disappoint your hungry heart God my king will never Ignore your hungry heart. Jesus said, I'm going down there in the valley. Down in the Jordan Valley. I'm going into Jericho. Oh God. Oh God. Give me a hungry heart. Give me a hungry heart. God will never resist and turn away a hungry heart. So he came into Jericho. He went into the city. Nobody asked for anything. He left. He was leaving the city. When the blind man says, Son of David, have mercy upon me. And just as he he believed, just as he envisioned, Jesus called for him and said, what do you want? And the man said, Lord. (laughs) Ah, He said, Lord. You must understand blind Bartimaeus believed that Jesus is the Messiah. And he believed it before he met him. The old Pharisees and Sadducees up in the temple, in the mountain, in the temple. They didn't believe. But this blind man down in the valley believed. Have mercy upon me and let me receive my sight. According to your faith it shall be unto you. And the man's eye popped. Bible didn't say much about him after that but I have no doubt he became a faithful follower a faithful servant of God his life became a living proof that Jesus is is the Messiah Jesus is who he said he was and he became blind Bartimaeus everything Good morning to you. It's manna in the morning, 13 minutes before the hour. Glad to have you on board. I bless you in the name of the Lord. In Canada, in England, across the Caribbean, in Jamaica, all across the US of A, Canada, grace and mercy. Wherever you are listening to us from, from the motherland. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever is the time there in Africa. What to say? Glad to have you on board. It's the 16th day of uh, September 2022. And the program is the manna in the morning. Pastor Howard Palmer here with you. I bless you in the name of the Lord. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Cause his face to shine upon thee. Lift 
up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Oh, hallelujah! Yes, Jesus! Oh! 
just us, just us demanding that I should die. But grace and mercy said, Oh no, oh no, no. We've already paid the price. You see, Shudder to think what would have happened to Jimmy Swagger. If my parents had not found Jesus Christ, but mercy rewrote my life. Again, I want to thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you so much for a wonderful morning of prayer and the word and worship. And I could sense it that you were being blessed by what the Spirit of the Lord was doing this morning with the music and with the way in which He moved upon the service. God bless you, keep you, cover you, and protect you. I'll be back tomorrow morning, Saturday morning at 6 a.m. in Jamaica, 7 a.m. here in New York. We go for two hours tomorrow morning, two hours of broadcast in Jamaica on Best 100 FM. Catch me tomorrow morning. It's 100.1.3.5.7.9 on the FM dial. Tell your relatives and friends in Jamaica to tune their radio 6 a.m. tomorrow morning to Best 100 FM. We go there for two hours tomorrow morning, every Saturday morning from 6 to 8 Jamaica time, 7 to 9 New York time. And of course, on the ministry app, on the ministry app, we're going to be here on the ministry app also. You could listen to us anywhere in the world you, you are. Watch us and listen to us on the ministry app, all right? I'm going to close out this morning the very way we started. Mercy rewrote my life. I bless you in the name of the Lord. So until tomorrow morning, again, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Until tomorrow morning, Pastor Palmer saying to you, it is in the pursuit of God that purpose and destiny for a man's life is discovered. Again, I want to say a big shout out to Minister Peter Grubb up there in upstate New York somewhere there. Man of God, my Bible school, my uh, Sunday school teacher, the blessing of God rest upon you and I bless you in the name of the Lord. Catch you tomorrow morning. God bless. My mistakes that day were turned into miracles. He reached up and wiped away the tears and turned them somehow into joy.
My past sins were forgiven A new name was written Mercy rewrote my life Thank God, yes it did Yes, I could, I could have fallen, my soul cast away now, but mercy rewrote my life. I could have fallen, my soul. Cast away now, but mercy is mercy. Rero, thank you, thank you, Lord. My
Change. 